In this video, you'll learn about an enhancement that simplifies creating regions where your end user can choose between multiple sorting options. Some region types like Interactive Report and Interactive Grid already provide a flexible way for them to configure a preferred sort, but other region types lack that option until now. The new Order by Page item works with cards, charts, classic reports, column toggles, list views, and reflow report regions, and makes it easy to set up multiple order by clauses that are controlled by a select list in the page. We'll explore the feature using a cards example. Let's create a new cards page called Conference Speakers that will allow users to see a list of speakers at an industry conference. The table name is EBA Demo Conf Speakers. And we can choose the layout for the cards, the name and the title, and for the badge we'll use the company name that the speaker works for. Creating the page, we'll see that Apex Builder automatically adds a new order by page item that the user can use at the top of the cards region to sort by name, title, or company. Choosing title, we'll see the speakers are sorted by their job title. If we select company, we'll see that the names of the companies are sorted alphabetically. But if we scroll to the bottom, we'll see a company from Mexico whose name has an accented letter, Anima Estudios, sorts at the bottom instead of near the top with all the other letter A companies. So we can come back to the builder and select the conference speakers region, click on the order by page item, and see the different order by clauses that the builder created for us. First, let's fix the sorting by name so that it properly sorts by last name, first name, and middle name in ascending order. We'll fix the sorting on the accented letter by inserting a collate binary underscore AI clause as part of the company and add a fourth option to sort on the show name. If we save the page and refresh the browser, we'll immediately see the results of this change. We see that now Anima Estudios sorts with the letter A companies at the top of the list. And sorting by name, we now correctly see the last named Albrecht and other letter A last names sorting at the top. Now let's go try adding this feature to an existing page. We have over on page six, a speaker gallery that needs a order by page item. So we can add that to the page by selecting the search results cards region. It's based on this SQL query that concatenates together a number of fields and includes the first, last, and middle names as columns in the query. The order by page item expressions need to operate on a column that's part of the select list. So we'll put all the same four order by clauses on this particular page item and run the page. Now we'll see that the speaker gallery gets the page item to sort between name, title, company, or show, and it works as we expect. Sorting on title, we're picking company, and again, Anima Studio sorts correctly. Since the order by page item is just a normal select list page item, you're already familiar with how it works. We can go look at the list of values for the P6 order by page item, and we'll see that it has static values showing the display and a return value that's a code that's used as a key to match up with the order by clauses defined on the order by page item. At runtime, when the user makes a selection from the order by page item, the key is used to choose the correct order by clause. Another benefit of using a regular select list page item for the order by is that we can position the item anywhere on the page. By unparenting the region and selecting the before navigation bar position, we can move the order by page item up into the navigation bar. Picking a large size and choosing the hidden template to avoid having a label Running the page, we'll see that the order by is now right up next to the search bar in the navigation bar. The new order by page item makes this use case and many others much simpler.